Hello, I'm Alex Petty of Singularix Corporation, and today I want to, I want to show you um, XC power transmission. Uh, about a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks now, uh, we were at the AEPC uh, Energy Conference, hosted by Larry Jarbo down in Southern Maryland, and um, there I uh, met with uh, Carl Paulsness, who is, does, does a lot of work with uh, Tesla, and, we, were, and uh, we just compared notes, and a lot of the work that we're doing at at uh, Singularix is, is very uh, very in line with the stuff Tesla was doing over 100 years ago, except instead of manifesting the spark, get, uh, rather manifesting the nonlinear waveform, which we call XC, uh, and Tesla called radiant energy, or some now call scalar waves, uh, instead of manifesting it with a spark app, as Tesla did, we, we do it with um, a waveform that we call the Z-Wave, uh, as some of you may have seen on jeffreyandcook.com. Jeff Jeff has put a lot of that stuff on, on, the, on his site. In any case, uh, Jeff is the CTO of Singularis Corporation, by the way. So in any case, we um, today I want to show you XC power transmission, how, uh, how Tesla went about it, and uh, how Carl uh, also dem demonstrates it. And I want to thank Carl for showing me this great circuit. It's, it's very dramatic and very cool. So here it is. Um, All right, so here we have a, we start off with a high voltage transformer, spark gap, and then we've got these two large copper rods, okay, uh, at the bottom of a couple of uh, high voltage capacitors. So I've got a couple of pro scope probes on the, top, on the top line of my scope. This is at the spark gap, okay. And at the bottom line of my scope, this is actually uh, at sort of the output signal, the scalar wave. Um, and I've also set up sort of a power transmission line, if you like. It goes from, you know, from the copper rods, basically. That starts, you know, starts right here on both sides. And it goes all the way around, you know, my garage here. Comes down, you see the power lines here. All the way over here. And then it's a little dark in here. And then down to here. This is a halogen light bulb. It's and, um, it's a 120 volt, 100 watt you know, light bulb that I bought this, I bought this morning. It's, uh, so one thing that's worth noting is this is very, so we're using very fine copper wire here. This is um, 36 AWG, so it's about, about as wide as a hair. If you were to power a 100 watt light bulb with this, with, it, with the such thin gauge wire, no, under normal circumstances, you would end up with um, uh, you know, a vaporized wire. It would, it would just glow red and, and, and burn up. So, so the fact that we can, you know, we can do this is uh, with the scalar energy, with the scalar waves, or, or the XC is um, is quite significant. So um, let's get started. First thing I want to show is just the normal high voltage spark. So this is for comparison. So here's the spark. I'm going to kick it off. Okay. So you see, I've got a nice shape to it. And you can see in the, in the scope, you can see it. Um, you really feel for it. Yeah. So it goes up, and this is this strange sort of area in the middle, and it comes back and up, so up for infinity, and it's back from negative infinity, and off it goes. Um, and then. That's the normal spark, okay? So everything happening, the, the effect is kind of on this side of the circuit. You know, this is used essentially so the way that the charge sort of built up and then jumps across the spark gap. That's you know, sort of central to the, uh, I'm not to say too much of the other way, but you know, for the, for the XC is one. There it is. All right, now, to um, the show, it's quite, um, quite different when we add the capacitors here. Um, it's quite loud and the whole, I mean, the, you'll see in the spark, it's a whole different, it's a whole different beast. Um, very big, blue, incredibly loud. And, and also, I'll start off by showing you the guy. Here we go.
So as you can see, this pole is, is lit up through that power transmission line. This wire up here, totally cool, room temperature. It's not hot, not hot at all. Um, it's totally, totally cool. Right? And that light is fully glowing. So this is uh, this light bulb being lit by by not 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 the power running through the line, but it's being lit by this XC, this this nonlinear waveform, uh, which which is high is highly efficient way to transfer energy. Uh, as you can see, you know this this bulb is fully lit, and this wire is cold. So some other some other interesting effects. You take a light bulb. Take a light bulb. Okay. And very interesting. so you can see a little bit better. Okay. Here we go. Actually, that was very strange. demonstration shows how XC power transmission uh, can be used to very efficiently send power along a line. This wire is completely cold right here. Completely cold. You saw how the light bulb was completely lit. Um, and we did that with, with using scalar energy or XC power transmission. So uh, that's what I want to show you. And uh, thanks for watching. Check out singularix.com or also jeffreyncook.com for more information about these, um, these effects. Thanks.